happy Thursday morning to you all. It is a beautiful day here in East Tennessee and we are excited to craft with you all. We're going to make a cute little craft that honestly is sort of an evergreen craft, meaning you could use it for a wide variety of different things. It's technically a plant marker, but I thought it would be really cute to put a spin on it and make it a Mother's Day plant marker. So um, I'll show you in just a second. We are making these little guys and it is made out of a two well it's almost two like 1.75 by four inch piece of wood and then i have put some cardstock on it and used some mod podge to decoupage it and we have some vinyl on here with my kiddo's handwriting on it or you could just use a font um, but this little guy you could you could put a message happy mother's day happy birthday happy 21st yeah. birthday happy graduation happy whatever this would be cute as even like a cake topper and everything like, there's so many options for this yes but uh, my thought was for mother's day and then you could put it in like a bouquet of flowers like this or like a plant like a potted plant or something like that uh, but we've got several little techniques going on here. I did cut my pieces out using my Glowforge, but you can find pieces. It, it, they don't have to be this exact dimension. Um, at Hobby Lobby or cut them out using your miter saw or whatever. So you just need some little pieces of wood. They also have things like this on Amazon that you can just purchase straight up. Um, but with my Glowforge, I went ahead and put um, eighth inch, well actually it was 0.2 inch holes but you could drill these in as well. Um, so we'll go to the overhead in just a few minutes and, and look at that. But I, so I have these these pieces of wood. This is just a maple. It doesn't matter what wood you use because uh, we're basically going to be covering it up. And then I am going to be using some light weight cardstock uh, because I wanted a nice patterned cardstock. Um, and then I have some scrap pieces of vinyl, but you could also use acrylic paint pens if you wanted to and write the, the kid could like actually write mm -hmm. on it yeah. or you could write on it. And then I have some Mod Podge. It doesn't matter what finish. This is satin. You could use the matte. You could use the glossy. You could use the, there's an outdoor. Mm -hmm. What yeah. finish is it though? I, don't, I think, I feel like it's satin too. I'm I feel like I like sure. satin because it's a good mix. It's yeah. not too matte. It's not too glossy. Um, and then I have a paintbrush so that I can put that on. I'm also going to be using some baker's twine, butcher's twine, whatever you want to call it. You could use jute if you wanted to. Oh, I love jute. Or like a thin macrame cord. That'd be cute. Or a yarn, chunky or not. And then these I got from the cake decorating section of Walmart. They're just called bamboo treat sticks. Um, they are almost 12 inches long and they are, I was trying to see the diameter. I'd say they're a quarter of an inch, uh, but it doesn't matter. Whatever size you want. Yeah, they're right at a quarter of an inch. Um, I'm so glad you have that tape measure handy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, it, it's never <laughs> it's never a bad idea to be prepared like right, that. Yeah, of course. Never a bad idea. Yeah, for the diameter of a treat steak. A, a, a treat steak, yes. Uh, but you can get a long dowel rod, cut it if you wanted to, if you were going to make several of these. This doesn't have to be this long if you were going to do pointing over here like you can see like a smaller plant you could do maybe like a six inch post oh, and yeah. put it in there yeah. um you could make these smaller if you wanted them smaller i just liked it big because bigger's better right yeah um Anyway, I've not even welcomed you all properly. If you are new to the channel, we are glad that you are here. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Miss Rachel Langston is also an owner and craft educator here, and she is going to be helping me see your comments, hear your comments, um, and helping me remember all the words that I cannot form uh, when when they come in my head. <laughs> That's what she does for me. So. Do we have any newbies here? I want to welcome you all. I want to say hello to you. If you are wanting a membership here at Oak and Lamb, we are currently celebrating our 25th or 25,000th subscriber on YouTube. And by doing that, we are giving away five free annual memberships. And to enter that, it's very easy. You just click a link. It might be in the description. It, it sure might is. be shared. Um, oh. Click that link and you're going to go scroll down a little bit, hit this button that says enter now or something like that. And all you have to do to enter to win that is subscribe to our newsletter. We don't spam you with newsletters. Uh, it's just information 
casually as it comes up. Uh, and so we will choose five of you who enter for that and notify you via email whether you're a winner or not by April 30th. So check that out for sure if you've been wanting to join the flock and maybe are not financially in a place to do that, you can do that. However, if you want to go ahead and join, you can do that as well. Uh, we do offer monthly and annual payment options. You do get a bit of a discount if you pay for the entire year at once, but we understand that is not feasible for everyone. So we do have that monthly option as well. If there are questions about our membership and what we do here at Oak and Lamb, please don't hesitate to ask those. Rachel will point them out to me or I might happen to see them go by. I definitely want to answer all of your questions, but let's get started crafting and making this fun project. So, like I said, I did make these. I did cut them out with my laser cutter. I have made a fun little file that will be on the website. I haven't put it on there yet because uh, I needed to take a thumbnail photo before I do that. Um, so, if you have a laser cutter, cut it out with that. And I've also made the cardstock portion that fits perfectly on this in the same file. So, we'll be able to up all, upload all of it to Design Space and size what we're doing. Um, Rachel, I am ready for that camera. Okay. If you want to go to the overhead, I'll show them this while we do that. This is the um, rectangle. This is what it looks like finished. So we've got this piece that we'll be cutting out of cardstock. We have this with vinyl. And then we have decoupaged it. We've sealed it basically with Mod Podge. And then we have our butcher's twine here. So like I mentioned earlier, you could drill these in. Uh, drill the holes in and it's not imperative that you have that hole those holes I just feel like it makes it because you can place this on here and then wrap but I like the holes because it prevents the dowel rod from moving so much and I'll show you what I mean by that when we get started okay so now um, I'm not going to cut out come on design space I'm not going to cut that out from my Glowforge since I've already done that. It's really loud. It takes a minute to do it, so it would not have been really effective to do that. But we have some videos um, on basic cunning with our Glowforge too, so you can check those out. Um, and then I am just going to pull this cut file up in Design Space, if I can get Design Space to work. Is it being finicky? It is. Let me see here. Here's the file. And then you can see I've already made my kiddo's handwriting um, into an SVG. If you are curious about how you can make handwriting into an SVG, we have a member only video on this. It is on our website. Um, and if you need help locating it and are a flock member, please let us know. We can help you find that. Um, it's very easy to do it. Okay, so we're gonna pull this in just like this. And because I've already cut out the base of this, I don't need to do that again. So let's ungroup this. I'm just gonna work with one of these, just like this. And I need to make sure that this is sized at four inches because I cut it at four inches. So um, let's size this. I'm gonna select both of them and make the width four inches. I do have this size lock ratio locked so that when I change the width of it to four inches, the height ratio will be intact. Okay, now I can delete this because I, like I said earlier, I don't need it. Or I can leave it and place this on here and put my font or file or whatever. For instance, if I wanted to do one of these names here, then I could do that. We'll do Fallon's. Look at these names. Look at these are little precious. baby hand drives. Oh, we do. Do we? We have a member only video on how to take your. Yeah, I think you already mentioned it when I was not paying attention. Yep, it's perfect. okay. Amazing. It's okay. We'll tell you again. <laughs> So the way that I know that this will be cut properly is I'm gonna layer it on here and size it. A lot of our members, a lot of viewers ask how we size decals and things like that to fit. And the answer is that we place it, like we size this, obviously we wanna size this to the size that it's gonna be, so four inches. And then when we size this on top, 
it will go perfectly. Um, if we're using a blank that we don't have a cut file for, if we're, use, if we're making like a sign or um, I don't know anything, we take a basic shape from right here in design space, use the basic shape. For instance, if it was a rectangle, we would grab a rectangle. If it were a hexagon, we would grab a hexagon or, or a similar shape to what it is. And, and we would measure our blank. A blank is the product that you are placing your graphic on. We would measure that and then size this shape, whichever shape we choose, so that it's the exact same size as our blank. Then you can place your graphic on top. So the other thing, uh, like I said earlier, you can do a um, font. Let's do, we'll do Charlie's name on here. And I like the Eleanor font really well. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this font. I've already got it. Well, we'll do, we'll keep Fallon because I'm going to make three of them today. Alan, Charlie, you could put Mama, you could put Happy Mother's Day. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this one and we'll do a Happy Mother's Day one. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, what font should I do, Rach? Because I want to do a different font for this. Let me think. Or You're the Best Mom. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute, but I still don't like the font. Um... Uh, Christy think. said, quick question, is the giveaway for memberships only for new people? Yes. Great question. Yep. If you already have a membership, you you don't need one, of course. And if you... Uh, well, maybe if she were like a monthly and wanted an annual or something like that. That is a great question, yeah. though. Um, I'm drawing a blank on fonts. I never draw a blank this bad. Butterfly kisses. I don't think I have Click that clack. One. The pack might be too thin for this. Are you cutting this out of vinyl? Yeah. Yeah, see, you also have to think about the thickness of these. You don't want it to be horribly thin when you're cutting something out that's, like, this small. We'll do limited edition. It's a good thick font. That font looks like you. It your personality is in that I font. Know. Is. Yeah, that's cute. Now I want to decrease the letter spacing here a little, or the line spacing. About like this. Come on, come on. Actually, you know what? It might be even easier to ungroup this to lines. So under advanced, we're going to ungroup to lines so that each line is grouped together. And then we can kind of pull it down like this. Now, um, so old members can't win a free, do you mean old as in like you're not a member anymore? Or old as in you've been a member for a while. Because if you already have a membership, a yearly, you don't need one. And if you win one and you have one, you can't really give it away. Let us know what you mean. Yeah, it is non-transferable. Yeah. Great question. And group here. I'm just playing with this a little bit. I want... I really this want all creator over here. Yeah, he's <laughs> getting Vicky. It's good though. I want this to fit really cute in here. We'll pull this over a little bit. That's better. Okay, now I'm happy with this. Ish. Move this one out just a little bit. It's good to be picky with things. I agree. Okay, now I'm going to group this together. And I'll attach it. I'm going to attach it so that the letters don't go everywhere. And then I, the other thing, obviously, I'm going to have to size this. So let's pull. Oh, wow. Let's pull it up here and size it so that it looks cute on here. I have to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And then this... Because we are currently working with a script font, we have to unite this together so that it will cut out as one piece instead of multiple. And I'm going to make three of these. So let's duplicate this. You can do that a couple of ways. Command D will duplicate or you can push duplicate up here. Now I'm going to delete this. 
I'm only gonna cut out two of these because I'm gonna use an acrylic paint pen to create the other one. So let's change this. We're gonna be using our Cricut Joy today and I want to click make it. And all this looks good. Let's go ahead and press continue. I am using, because I already found it, um, a 12 inch mat. So let me go back over here to cancel and choose my 12 inch mats. 12 inch. Okay. Continue. Connect to our joy. And it wants to use our vinyl first. So we're going to cut out vinyl and we are using the premium vinyl setting. So just make sure, uh, I didn't have a scrap this big, so I'll just cut this out. Yeah, Amy, that is true. Most of our giveaways are for members, of course, but this one is particularly for non-members. So yes. if you are not a member and you've never been a member and you want to be, you could win a free year of that. Absolutely. So follow the link down below. I've sprinkled it in the comment section. You could win a free year of membership with us here. Okay. I'm finished with the computer. Okay. If you want to change that. Are you overhead right now? Yes, I am. Okay. Fantastic. Um, so let's go ahead and load this in here. There we go. Wow, oh, look, look at this out. scrap. Oh, I know. You cut that so well. <laughs> While that's cutting out, I'm going to find some cardstock to use. We don't have a lot of pattern cardstock. No, we don't. Especially with smaller prints, because with, with this being such a small um, piece, it needed to have a small print that's on true. it, or else you're not going to see most of that's it. That's true. So I'm struggling there. Did your kids make that vase, Becca? They did. Becca has several pieces. Like that. Like that, that her yeah. kids have made. And I'm dying for Charlie to get to the age where I'm going to drag him to, to make him make things. Because I will be 70 and still loving those little pieces that he made when he was little. I have I a mug like. that my kids are, that they did. I love the speckled chicken. Yes, the speckled, the speckled chicken, chicken. over there. I love the speckled chicken. I have chicken. a mug that's like that, and then we took black and their handprints and put their handprints on it, and I have to make another one because I have a third handprint to put on there so now. So cute. Yes. I love it. I do too. We should take all the babies and make them do stuff. Let's do it. I would love to. I, I told Wayne for Mother's Day that's all I wanted was really? a, another mug like that. Yeah. That's precious. It's one of my favorite things. We're going to use this delightfully tacky rainbow color. Brenda said, Joys are cute, but I don't need one. I keep telling myself You don't that. need one. If you have another machine, you don't need one. True. You are correct. They are pretty cute, though. They are cute. Good they morning, are. Kathy. Welcome. Again, continue to let us know if there's any new viewers here today. All right, let's unload here. I'm going to go ahead and weed before I take this off the mat. I keep thinking this is going to be super small, but it's not. It's really easy to see, and it's going to be really easy to weed, too. In my head, though, these pieces were going to be tiny and sort of miserable. We'll grab our cute little mermaid pen pencil here and weed away. That's adorable. Belby said, I still put my kids' Christmas ornaments on the tree, and my youngest is 26. Yep. Absolutely. For sure. Um, Mom, I think Mom had some of ours that we made on the tree this year. Christina said, if they come out with a rose gold or light pink Cricut Joy, I'll be buying it. <laughs> they should have came out with different colors. Yeah, I'm shocked that they didn't, Me honestly. Too. Although, you know, they used to do, like the Air 2 had tons of different colors. And they don't do, oh, I got rid of the eye, the eye daughter. Bad gummit. I shouldn't have wadded this up. Um, anyway, they don't really do a lot of colors anymore. Kathy, she said, I missed you guys. I was on my retirement cruise. Another check off my bucket list. That's Congratulations. Amazing. How fun. Where'd you go? Did you have a good time? I've never been on a cruise, but I bet I would love it. Oh, 
You would love it, Rachel. I think I would. You don't get seasick, do you? Or like no. motion sick? Like, I mean, I know you do in a car, but. Yeah, not really. I haven't been on a boat in forever, though. We'll see. We should do a cruise together. Please. I would love that. I would love that. Maybe we could play in an Alaskan cruise. <laughs> that is your dream. <laughs> let's make it happen. Becca. It's Anna's dream too. Well, let's all make Can it happen. Can you make my dream come true? I would love to do that. Please I would do. love to. <gasps> okay. Put that on there. We will. I don't even know where that came from. It's not my favorite one. It came from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> So it's okay that it's not your favorite. Okay, I'll put this one here. Let's do this one with all the fun colors. Now, see where she's placing it is important because that's what's going to be cut out. If you like one area of a piece of paper better than the other, do be mindful about where you place that on your mat. Right. I have got. I do have to cut this off too because it, it won't go under the mat. If not, um, you know what? I may have cut that. Let me look at the mat and see if it's gonna. They're only four inches. I think it might be okay. We'll see. I'll recut it if it is not. Okay, I'm gonna just use the light cardstock setting for this. Light cardstock. Here we go. I know what our flock talk is, Becca, but I'm keeping it a secret. Oh no. I'll tell you I after actually, the live. Okay. But if you guys, one of the very many membership perks that we have is member only podcasts, which are video podcasts. And uh, me and Becca do them every week for you all. And we, we always love coming up with the idea. Now we have a list of 40 ideas. Yes. Some of them are very difficult to execute and others take no time at all. Um, yeah, some of them we have like this running note on our phone because yeah. Rachel and I are very note oriented and yes. if we think of something we have to write it down or we'll forget. Oh, yeah. So we have these things on our phones that are like a list of things I'd fight Rachel over. And yeah. like as we go through our day, we're like, you know what? I'd fight Rachel over yeah. that. We write it down. Yeah. Anyway, they're really, I'm excited they're really to see. Fun. Yeah. It'll be I'm good. Excited. It'll be good. The Little Joy does so well with cuts I like agree. this. I agree. I agree. In fact, I used, when I was prepping this project, I used the Explore, and for whatever reason, it kept cutting my, um, it kept ripping my paper, even on different settings. So I was like, the Joy, Joy's not going to let me down. No. We'll cut with her. Okay. Okay, I did, I did well. Let's cut the excess off here. Teresa said, I love this. It adds such a great touch to the Mother's Day flowers. It really does. Right? It's and so mean, easy and simple. I, I really encourage you guys not to just spend all that money on like a, a, you know, a bouquet. Go get like the $10 or $15 bouquet from Walmart. Like this. Pick out a vase, buy it yourself, arrange it, and put a craft in it. And I mean, honestly, it'll mean more to them than anything. Yeah. Honestly, if my kids gave me this for Mother's Day, I would be ecstatic. Of Especially course. if you did like a, take your kids, if you have a pottery place, um, yes. I know I'm probably mostly talking to women, but if a man happens to see this and you have kids who have a mother, like this, oh, please. Yes. I, as a mom, having this that I can constantly put flowers in or whatever is so, um, I have one like this at home, is, is so wonderful. Do this, do a thing of flowers, do these fun thingies. They're going to love that. It's not a lot and of it's money. Not it's the very yes. practical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to a project. So we have these little these little guys here, and I'm just gonna use this Barely Art. Now, our favorite um, adhesive right now for paper is the Art Glitter. However, I had a little bottle, and the thingy got glued in there, and I couldn't get it out, and it broke. Aww. And I don't know where my other clear bottles are. I know we have seven of them. I just haven't looked good for them. Anyway, one of these, both of them are very good. We've tested both of them uh, live for you all, and this was the winner because of price more than anything. Um, you can also use ATG on this, or you could use, you know, your zig pen, whatever paper adhesive you really love. You could technically Mod Podge the whole thing. You could. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to put some on here. Doesn't have to be a ton because we are Mod Podging over it. Hmm. 
Teresa said, my mom is 60 years old and she will love this. I can't wait to try this and add it to her flowers. You guys have the fe- best ideas. Oh, thank you. Uh, I can't wait to see. Can't well, wait to I see think everyone's. a lot of times men don't think about the sentimental things like that. Like taking your kids over there, spending an hour to paint that, you know, vase and whatnot. They just don't really think about it. So... I think they it's try really to make things nice more gesture. complicated than they have to be. Yeah. Sometimes. Most of the time, yes. Most gals are pretty simple. Me and Becca are pretty uh, pretty simple. Well, especially when gals. we have kids that, you know, I mean, maybe my mom wouldn't want a hand-painted vase when I'm 30. Maybe she would when I'm 35. I don't know. <laughs> like from you? Yeah. Oh. Mom, do you want a finger? Is my mom here? Do you want a finger-painted yeah, vase, Mom? She'd rather have it for my kids, I know. <laughs> hey, you don't know that. Maybe Jane would be honored to have a vase that you painted. She would. I don't know. Belby said, I thought you liked my vase the best. It's my favorite. Mine too. It sat on my desk for a long time. It's still here. Oh, of course it's still here. I just, you know, we had guests come and I did move it from my desk. <laughs> Hilarious. That that paper's fun. It is fun. I mean, even if you know, I mean, Jan said, "Let the kids do it, and you just pay for it." Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, Mom, act surprised if you get that for Mother's Day. I. I know Charlie can't do much, but I think I might do something like that for mom. Maybe a mug. She loves coffee, so. No, she he can do that. I mean, Beckett was Charlie's days when we started taking him. Yeah, okay. Because, I mean, you'll just put the paint on the brush for him, and yeah. it's literally just slapping it on there. I know. I like it. Look, the look of it slapped I, on I there. I do, too. It's super cute. We should go together. We should take the kids together. I would love to. Okay, so we've got this on here. Now I'm going to transfer my vinyl on here. Remove the backing here. Well, I bragged on my joy and it kind of cut through some of the backing. Anyway, I probably should have chosen white for this. I wasn't thinking. It might not pop well. Um. Yes, this is paper. Becca found this in it. I think we had a, was it out of a pack of paper? No, this was loose at Hobby Lobby. Okay, yeah. You could do vinyl if you had a printed vinyl or something. Mm -hmm. You could paint this on too, honestly, if you wanted to do um, a paint. I just liked, I like being able to do a pattern. So there's that one. I really should have done this in white. Oh well. And then get this on here. These are so cute. Look how cute. That's sticking really well. It is. I'm impressed. It is. And I'm, I'm just using my finger to smooth it out. I didn't get the inside of this R out. And then, like I said, you can also use uh, markers, honestly, if you wanted to, or paint pens. What color would be good on this? Maybe, maybe, I'm going to do black. Should I write on this one? Oh, I'll write. This one could be for mom. I could write mom on it. You want my handwriting, Mom? <laughs> I can't wait to see it. It's going to be terrible. Focus, Becca. I don't know if I should do Mom or Nana. Mama? I'll do Mama since I call her Mama. Okay. Hold oh, on. oh we, we did a little practice there. Yeah. Well, I had to see if it was writing well. It's, right? It, I think it's probably going to smear on that uh, wood a little. We'll see. Oh, oh no. It's going to have a heart. I mean, that's the prettiest heart I've ever seen. It's beautiful. We'll color it in a little bit. Ma. 
Mama. Oh, that's that is something. I mean, that's gorgeous. How could she not be proud? Right. Linda said, Becca, your hair color is beautiful. Thank you. That is so kind. Okay. So, um, this will be dry in a second. I'm going to go ahead and get my Mod Podge out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get my heat gun out. My nice heat gun here. I feel like Becca was, was supposed to be a redhead. Really? Because I felt like you, like, harped on it for a long time. I did. I'm very now used to Now you like it. redheads. I'm very used to it now. I'm very used to it now. So, I think you should stick with it. Now, you can pull off any color. Thank you. White, purple. Uh, what other colors have I seen in your hair? Red. Like, you've never seen, you've, well, there's some colors you've not seen me in, like in true. person. Very true. Okay. I thought white was my favorite, but I think red is. Yeah? I think so. That's shocking to me, Rachel. I think it fits your personality. I like it. I think it fits my skin Now, your mom is a redhead. Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Not too much. I mean, she was a little more brown than this, I think, in high school, but. Okay. Now, we're just going to Mod Podge this. You can, honestly, I just do one thick layer. You could do a couple if you need to, but I didn't feel like. I needed to. It looks milky. It looks scary, but it is going to dry clear. Go in the same direction so that you don't have terrible brush strokes. And this is just going to seal it and make it a little more durable. Now, if you were doing all vinyl, you wouldn't necessarily need to seal it, but because this is paper and it's gonna be, you know, in flowers where you're watering it or, you know, they're in water, then you wouldn't want the paper exposed. Okay. Put that in some water. And then we'll dry this again with our heat gun. Get this extra Mod Podge here. Pretty easy, right? This, uh, honestly, this, I feel like is a good kid project. Nothing I can't use. Right. Like it. It's better to let this air dry if you can. Um, because sometimes, like, if you put heat too close to it too quickly, it will bubble up. Yes. So definitely don't do that. Like, Charlie's just wanting to come up right here, so I'll have to put another coat on it. a little sticky yeah Brenda said easy but cute right yeah you probably have most everything in your craft room already for this and if not you could you could find things in your craft room to use right it doesn't have to be this it doesn't have to be this shape exactly yeah that's true um, I routinely would let this dry a little bit more, but I can touch it. Yeah, you guys know lives are a little bit sped up. Yeah. We, well, just, actually, you know, I'm not going to lie. We're not very patient people anyways, but. <laughs> no, I have to be honest. The only reason why I let the other one air dry is because I was prepping it before the live and had plenty of time to let it air dry. Yeah. So I just cut a long piece of this and I'm going to thread it in the back like this. And then I'll knot it to get, come on buddy. Good grief. I bet that wouldn't happen if you'd used jute. I bet you're right, Rachel. 
trying to be very agreeable today. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's against my nature. Yeah. Okay. And then I just tie a knot like this to make it good and secure, good and tight. And then I tie this to this. This isn't fair, Rachel. I feel like you're prepping for our flock talk and I don't get to. I am prepping for our flock talk and you don't get to. You'll get like 10 minutes of me looking at you like I'm being impatient. <sighs> so then I tie to this and this is what keeps it a little bit more secure. It keeps it from going left and right. You don't have, you can, whatever length you want above this is totally fine. I like a little bit of, of height up top. I think it looks cute. I'm going to double knot it again so that it's good and tight. And then I take these and just wrap like this. You're wrapping on the left side and the right side so that it doesn't move. So left and right like this. You can do it a couple times. Do this one a couple times. You're just making an X with it. Just like this. Get good and tight on there. And then you're going to tie this in the back. Now, both of mine are on the bottom. So what I might want to do is kind of weave this under here. Pretending this is a crochet hook here. Just to give me something to tie to like this. Just to let you guys know, on the Flog Talks, we have these adorable little cards that Becca um, ordered for us. Most of everything on my card is misspelled. <laughs> we keep them, though. We keep them forever. I'm sure we'll find something to do with them in 10 years when we've had God knows how many hundreds of Flog Talks. Yes. There we go. Look. Quick, easy, adorable. Done. I like the way you wrap that around. That's Thank cute. you. Fun. You know, you sh you could do like the the yarn that was color changing as it goes, and it would be the like variegated. wrapped up in different yeah, colors. Yeah, that would be cute. Very cute. I want to see what you do with this idea. I love it. You know, I love plant markers anyway. Like if you name your plants, you can put the names of your plants on these. Um, Make them really good names. Don't name your plants lame names. Rachel, like. I thought I mean, Cecilia was a good name. No, that's no, that's amazing. All of our plants in here have good names. That's true. I just, I, uh, I feel like if you're going to name something, it should have character, right? I mean, I have a bird named Al and a dog named Leonard. Look, I love Lenny's name. Len yeah, Lenny. He, he, if you ever saw that dog, you'd be like, oh, he's What was the other name? It was between two things, and you had chosen the other, and I was like, no, no, choose Lenny. It's better. Well, I chose the other because James wanted the other one, but just like forever, I get what I want. It was Leo. Leo. Leo and Lenny. Lenny and I'm is, like, he's such he's a, Lenny. a Lenny. He's such a Lenny. He's just like with Charlie. I'm like, trust me, and that baby is a Charlie. He's 100% a Charlie. He is. Yeah, I can't imagine him any other name. I'm pretty good at naming stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for being here with us. This is a fun little craft, a fun little quick craft that, that used several different techniques. Yeah. I love multi-step things. If you happen to be a Cricut beginner and you're watching this because you wanted to master some of these techniques, yes. this is just scratching the surface. Yeah. Uh, we, we talk about our membership a lot, but included in it is some great free courses on how to master your machines. Whether you have a joy like we use today or the Explore or Maker line, uh, we have those in there. Great videos, start to finish, how to use your machine. Of yep. course, we have the cut files and free commercial use licensing and the Facebook groups and the member-only videos. I mean, we could go on and on, but... Really, the membership's where you want to be. If you've never been a member, you could win a membership. We're giving away five annual memberships. Yes. So click the link below. All you have to do is join our mailing list to enter. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. These would be cute tags without the sticks, too. They would be, yes. They would. Um, I am not chicken, Christy. No, I'm, I just have um, taste. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Well. Yeah. 
I'm doing Becca's Adobe Illustrator class. I'm finally up to the brayer. I have it about half done. That's amazing, Linda. I'm so glad you're enjoying it and um, actually doing it. We have people who have bought the course who still have not started. I'm like, what is, what are you doing? Jump in there. I'm proud of you for starting this, Linda. Uh, <coughs> yeah, show these ladies lots of love and click the thumbs up. Please do, that would be amazing. If you are not a subscriber to the YouTube channel already, go ahead and hit subscribe. It's free to do that. And we love seeing our subscriber count grow. Um, this is so cute to go with the flowers that I picked for my yard for my mother. Something extra for my home. I get, yes, Patty. I love that. I'm excited. I'm so excited to see what you guys do with these for Mother's Day. I thought it would be a cute addition. Um, we do have some organic content coming out this week. Next week, we are doing a live with a product that Miss Crystal told us about. Crystal uh, was here in the studio and we were talking about sublimation issues and she told us about a product that you can basically remove sublimation off of a tumbler if it's messed up. We have one. We're going to test it out live for you all. I'm really I'm excited. So excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's next week. Um, I don't remember what the other thing I had planned was. It's in a sauna, actually, for once. I'm very proud of myself. Yeah, I came here Tuesday, <laughs> and she was prepping for this project. And I was like, oh, what we make? And she was like, well, if you'd actually check a sauna, which neither of us have used in forever. But we're getting back. It's a consistent it. job. Like, it's it goes either way. Oh, no. It goes either 100%, way. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so there'll be some fun lives next week. We will have the flock talk coming out on Saturday of this week. Um, and I'll be filming some more member only content to go on the website. I'm really excited about that. So, uh, thank you for being here with us and I'll see you all live next week.